Cornell University students return to class this week as vandalism and anti-war demonstrations have also returned this semester. Just as the first day of fall classes began on Monday, it was discovered the door of administrative building Day Hall was shattered and spray painted graffiti left on either side of the entrance. The door was quickly boarded up and graffiti that read Israel bombs Cornell pays was removed. Though there are stains for the paint, campus employees are working to remove the residue and replace the window. University relations said in a statement, quote, we are appalled by the graffiti spray painted and glass shattered overnight. Acts of violence, extended occupation of buildings or property damage, including graffiti, will not be tolerated and will prompt an immediate response from public safety. Back in April, Cornell suspended four students after they refused to move a pro-Palestinian encampment from the Arts Quad on campus. Campus group Coalition for Mutual Liberation organized the tent demonstration as a protest, calling for Cornell to divest its endowment assets from companies like Boeing that manufacture weapons used in war. Many from the group gathered at Clarman Hall Monday, urging Cornell to divest and agree to the United Auto Workers' demands as a strike continues this week to raise the wages of university employees. Big Fox reached out to Coalition for Mutual Liberation to talk about the vandalism at Day Hall, but the group could not immediately be reached for comment. One local man commented on Facebook, quote, peaceful protests are a part of our democracy. These acts of violence and destruction are not. Time to arrest the outside agitators and expel student participants. Cornell University did not say if the vandals have been identified, but did say campus police are conducting a thorough investigation, warning those found responsible will be subject to suspension and criminal charges. Sonia Ellison, Big Fox News, Ithaca.